Getting ready to start our, our well, this will be my fifth year, and anytime you can uh, start a new season, it's always good. Uh, you haven't lost any games, you haven't won any games, so uh, once you get ready to start, it's easy to get guys to compete in practice. Uh, I thought we had a great uh, preseason uh, conditioning program as far as in the weight room, as far as on the, on the track, and uh, early on our skill work, but anytime you go five or six weeks of something, uh, you know, guys want to get into something new. And I think that's where we are right now. We're, fin we, we're only lifting two days a week now. We're not on the track. Uh, we're not doing the skill work per se. We're doing more teamwork. And I think you see a difference in our team with us having so many uh, older veteran guys back. Uh, you know, we have four, four seniors on this group, Trayshawn Bolden, Paris Collins, Chase, uh, Chase Franklin, uh, Mo Rivers. So we got a, got a good group of, of seniors with the four that's, that's here, probably. Um, uh, the most experienced group of seniors that I've had since I've, I've been here. So uh, this this could be an uh, interesting season for us, could be a good one. Uh, hopefully we, we'll stay injury-free, and, and, and right now uh, uh, most, most of our guys are in, in injury-free. You know, enough for questions. <clears throat> Did you consider investing in <laughs> MEA last year? <laughs> <laughs> You know what? It, 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 it just happened. It's, it's the unknown, and anytime you, you play a sport, uh, you got to, you know, practice for uh, the thing that you can't control. You can only control the thing that you can control. And, and, and the injuries last year was something that we didn't have any control of. Uh, we had no idea they were going to happen. But then when they when they happened, we we had to deal with them and had to adjust our, the way we played. Uh, we had to adjust the people that we were playing. So. Uh, all, all of that's part of the game, and hopefully this year we'll just have better luck with the injuries. Uh, your guy, Trey Sean, you, you coached at Callaway in, what, in the nine years now between uh, <laughs> both Callaway and, and here. He said it's time for him to go. But uh, just picking up that <coughs> SWAC uh, co-defensive player of the year award the preseason there, how big was that and also Paris making the, making the uh, cut too? On the Al-Swack team. You know what, it's huge. Uh, you, you talk about a kid, Trey Sean Bolton, like you said, he played four years. Uh, with him at Callaway, he, uh, this is his fifth year with him getting 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 the, uh, getting injured last year. So that's that's a total of nine years playing with one guy. So he knows the system in and out. Uh, he's a kid that probably along with maybe Justin Reed probably been the toughest uh, inside guy defender that you're talking about can actually just take another team uh, a best <laughs> offensive uh, low post score just completely out of the game. Uh, but but he but he, he loves to play play on that box and he he loves to get physical with you. Uh, Paris Collins, uh, he's deserved. He's been there. This is his third year. He's he probably another guy who could have uh, been maybe the defensive player of the year if not Trayshawn Bolden, uh, just because he plays with so much passion and so much energy. But uh, for him to be back uh, for for a third year and Trayshawn to be back for his fifth year, that's, that's a lot of experience with with those two guys. You're talking about guys that have eight years of experience total uh, together. How do you replace a guy like Yetra? Uh, that's gone now. Was was a leader, obviously running point there. Uh, just how do you replace a guy like that? Well, yeah, Trey Specs had a, a tremendous season for last year, and uh, just bringing in a point guard would be hard to replace him. But we kind of got lucky. Uh, you, uh, we brought in Duntellus Ross, who played for me uh, at Callaway High School. So you're talking about a guy who, who also played for me for three years. So it's just like having a veteran guy. He knows the system probably better than I know the system. Uh, you also have Chase Franklin, who played the point two years ago, who actually got injured. He's back now. So you, you have two veteran guys who are back at the point that probably nobody saw us having uh, and, and thinking that we were losing yet respect. So uh, it, ma it makes it a lot easier being the Yetre uh, carried, carried a lot of the load, a lot of the burden last year. So, you're pretty optimistic about this year. I know you got all your guys back and, and, and new additions. Seems like this is a team that you really can you know, have some success with. Uh, you know, when, when you wake up and you come to practice and you know you got 18, 19 guys to practice with, you know, you got uh, three teams of solid guys. Uh, we can get scoring from our first team, second team, and third team. And normally you don't have that. Uh, last year we had five guys on the first team, and then we had to put a, a makeshift team together of coaches, managers, uh, players, so no one could score in the second group. But with, with this group right now, as of today, you, you know, we can go three teams deep. Uh, Got a lot of competition at at each position. Uh, not only the point guard, but we got a lot of competition at our off guard. We got a lot of competition at 
our, our forwards position. So it makes it fun to coach knowing you come in uh, to practice every morning and you got enough pieces to practice. Uh, we've had two or three guys be out and not miss those guys at practice just because we had some other guys to step up. But right now we know we're not, we not missing anybody. Can you talk about Paris individually and what he's meant to the university and to the team? Well, I think Paris Collins, uh, just that passion, uh, just that willing to to put everything on the floor each and every night. Uh, I think that's that's what our coaching staff, uh, you know, when we came here, that's something that we promised the way that we would play. Uh, kids would come out and give their all uh, on the defensive end, uh, try to play together on the offensive end. And I think Paris Collins has bought into that. And the one thing that he didn't have to buy into that he just brought with him was that energy, uh, that passion, that, that toughness. Uh, you know, he, he plays like uh, uh, people want to see people play, uh, just with, with that energy. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.